Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to create rounded icon buttons using HTML and CSS. Okay, so this right here is very straightforward and you can easily include it in your existing websites or projects. Okay, so uh, to achieve this, we're going to be using an icon library. Okay, so I'll be leaving a link to this down below. Once you click on that link, you're going to be taken to this website right here. So it is called Ion Icons. It is an icon library and there are many different icons you can choose from, which you can then use inside your rounded buttons. Okay, so uh, for example, I can do a search here for share and I've got my share icon right here, which I want to use in my actual, you know, rounded button. Okay, so how do we actually go about using these icons? Well, if we go to the usage tab right up here, then scroll down to the installation section, I'm going to copy and paste these two script tags in the bottom of my body in my HTML. Okay, so the instructions here might be different for you, especially if you're watching this video in the future, but just follow the instructions under the installation section and you should be good to go. So once I've copied these two script tags, I'm going to go back or I'm going to go inside my HTML of my website and just paste them towards the end of my body tag right down here. So now I can start using those icons on my own website. So um, how do we actually create those rounded icon buttons? Well, um, this can work with either anchor or link tags as well as buttons. Okay, so for example, if I make a new uh, anchor tag right inside here, I can say this is going to go to somewhere else. Okay, um, the important part here is to say a class and make this class rounded dash button. So we're going to be using this rounded button class in CSS to of course style up the button and make it round. Okay, so now inside my anchor tag, um, we're going to be including that icon. So going back inside the web page for Iron Icons, if I like this share icon, I'm going to be choosing the, um, the sharp version of that and then simply copying by clicking on the code right down here. So once I've copied this code, go back in the HTML, I'm going to be pasting it inside my anchor tag right here. If I now save this and go back in the browser, we have the share icon appearing right there. So that's perfect, right? Um, but I actually want to make this a lot larger in my case. So optionally, you can go back inside here and you can say size and make this large. It is totally up to you. If I save this now and go back, we have a larger version of that icon right there. So how do we convert this into this right here? Well, very straightforward. Let's go inside the HTML and go up to the CSS at, um, at the top here. We're going to be targeting the class of rounded dash button. And the first step here is going to be to set a width of 60 px and the same goes for the height. So once again, you can customize this. You can make it smaller if you want, especially if you aren't using the size right down here. You want to make these a lot smaller. But anyway, in my case here, 60 px looks good. So I'm going to set that. I'm also going to say a background of, oh, hold on, background, there we go, a background of 009578, that is my decode green color. I'm also going to be setting a color or a um, an icon color of white, okay? If I now save this and go back in the browser, we get something like this. So clearly, we've got issues relating to the height of that button. So basically, the height here is not registering, okay? So to fix that, we need to say display and make this inline dash flex. So the inline dash flex allows us to do two things. The first thing is that the height is now going to work. So if I say this and go back in the browser, the height is now working, but also the flex part allows us to then center the icon vertically and horizontally. So going back inside here, let's say align items, make this center, then justify content, also make this center. Okay, so now save this back in the browser, it is now centered in the middle of that button. Okay, next step is going to be to add a cursor of pointer to give us or give the user that, you know, hand cursor icon when hovering over. Um, and also very importantly, we need to set a border dash radius of 50%. So this right here is going to give us that circle rounded effect. Save this back in the browser and we have this right here. If we want to reduce this rounded corner to be something like 5%, go back, we get a, you know, a much more squarish kind of button, but I'm going to set mine back to 50%. Now, 
It's also important that we set a border of none. This is to prevent, oh, this, so this is to hide um, the default styles applied to buttons by the browser, okay, as well as a text decoration of none, once again to hide some of those default styles if they do come into play. Save this and go back and we have a very similar if not the same result. So the last step here is going to be to add a transition when hovering over the button and make the background a little bit darker. So going back inside here, let's grab the class of rounded dash button and we're going to say down here colon hover. So when hovering over the button, we're going to be setting the background to be a darker version of the green I used up, um, up there, right? So I'm going to be saying 00866C, that is a darker version of that green. As well, I'm going to be going back in my um, rounded button class. I'm going to say transition and make this background at 0.2 seconds. So now when, when it switches between the light green and the dark green, it's going to take 0.2 seconds, giving us a nice smooth transition. Save this back in the browser, hover over the button and it changes to a darker green right there. Now, the last thing I want to mention is that, like I said earlier, you can change these anchors, these, these A tags to be buttons instead, just like this. So I'll remove the href here. Then I'll say a type of button, and this is also going to work. Save this back in the browser, we get the exact same result. So that is how to create rounded buttons using HTML and CSS. If today's video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.